As far back as ancient Egypt, people have known that looking at someone's urine can reveal important information about their overall health. These days, our techniques for analysis are far more advanced. But the truth remains that even a basic inspection of your urine can reveal hidden dangers that are lurking within your body. So today, I'm going to tell you what to watch out for, because catching some of these signs early could save your life. Let's start with the basics. How does a cup of water turn into urine? First, water gets absorbed by your gut into your bloodstream. The blood flows through your kidneys, and these incredible organs take out excess fluids and waste products without losing any of the important proteins and blood cells. So in very simple terms, urine is just filtered blood. And that's why it can tell us so much about your overall health. So why is normal pee yellow? Well, first you need to understand that red blood cells only last about three months before they get broken down. And when this happens, a substance called urochrome is produced, and that's what gives urine its normal color. But if you've ever taken vitamin B supplements, you might have noticed that your urine will take on this highlighter yellow color, and that's because of vitamin B2, also known as riboflavin. It looks crazy. But don't worry, it's not dangerous. It's just your body getting rid of any excess vitamin B2. While yellow urine is normal, this is never something you can ignore. Or this. A few things can cause your pee to turn red, but let's start with the most obvious. Blood. You may have seen these advertisements. I just love the visual. If you see red, even just a drop, you need to see your doctor because it's the most common symptom of bladder cancer. And early detection can be the difference between life and death. But fortunately, most of the time we find out the blood was coming from something else less serious, like a urinary tract infection that's irritating the bladder. But blood isn't the only cause of red urine. It can also be caused by hemoglobin, which is the protein that makes red blood cells red. And it can show up in urine if red blood cells get damaged and die off quickly. One dramatic example is malaria, the parasitic infection that gets transmitted by mosquitoes. The parasite enters your red blood cells and destroys them, causing huge amounts of hemoglobin to spill out and end up in your urine. In severe cases, a person's urine can turn a dark cola color, which is why some people call this condition black water fever. A more common example can happen in long distance runners. We call this foot strike hemolysis, and it can be a sign that your shoes are too old or you don't have enough cushion. You probably won't get cola colored urine. There aren't enough red blood cells breaking up. You'll likely see a dark yellow or even a brownish color, sort of like tea colored urine. But there's another substance that can turn your pee red. You probably associate muscles with a red color, and that's because they contain myoglobin, which is a close relative to hemoglobin inside red blood cells. When muscle tissue is damaged, it can release myoglobin into your bloodstream, which then spills out into your urine and it can absolutely destroy your kidneys. So how does this happen? CrossFit might be at the top of your list, but really it's any extreme exercise, especially if there's been a jump in intensity. So if your urine is red or tea colored after a big workout, you might wanna back off a little bit. Crush injuries are another important cause, and as a rheumatologist, I often see people with autoimmune muscle inflammation. I can't stress it enough. If you see pink, red, brown, or black urine, even once, you need to see your doctor. Okay, so we've covered some common things, but I came across a really interesting rare case that I've got to share with you. This is a 54 year old woman who was brought to the hospital after being rescued from an apartment fire. While being treated in the emergency department, a family member called out for the nurse after noticing a dark red discoloration of the patient's skin and urine. But the nurse told them there was nothing to worry about. Exactly the opposite of what I've been telling you for the past few minutes. And here's why. Fortunately, the patient hadn't sustained any burns, but she had inhaled a lot of fumes that contained cyanide. Realizing this, her physicians treated her with hydroxocobalamin, which binds to cyanide to form plain old vitamin B12. And hydroxycobalamin has this dark red color, which can temporarily cause discoloration of the skin and urine. She went on to have a complete recovery. Mystery solved. Orange urine, on the other hand, is most commonly caused by medications or dehydration, but it can also be a sign that there's a problem with your liver or bile ducts. Normally, bile drains out of your liver and into your poop, 
and that's actually the main reason why it's brown. If there's a blockage, bile acids and other products build up in the blood and leak out into the urine instead. Since the bile doesn't make it to your poop, it'll start looking really pale, whereas your urine will take on this orange-brown color. So if you see that combination, orange urine and pale poop, you need to see a doctor urgently. Now, purple urine is fascinating and it gives us a clue about which bacteria is causing a urinary tract infection. Here's an interesting case. This is a 58-year-old man with an indwelling catheter who woke up one morning and his urine looked like this. So he went to the emergency department right away. To understand why his urine turned purple, you need to know about tryptophan, an amino acid that most people associate with turkey. When your body breaks it down, it forms a substance called indoxyl sulfate. And here's where it gets really interesting. Common UTI bacteria convert this compound into indigo, which is blue in color, and indirubin, which is red in color. When they mix together in the urine bag, you get purple urine bag syndrome. Very dramatic, but ultimately goes away with antibiotics. Green urine. Now, this is pretty rare, and it's usually related to dyes or medications. Okay, here's a dramatic case. This is the urine of a woman who was admitted to hospital for a totally different reason. Of course, nobody could ignore this finding, but nobody could explain it either until her doctors found out that she had had a colonoscopy the day before. The surgeons had injected a dye called methylene blue to help remove a polyp, and that had filtered out into her urine. I definitely would have been shocked if that had been my patient. Now, frothy or foamy urine can sometimes indicate a high level of protein in the urine. Normally, healthy kidneys prevent protein from getting through. But when the kidneys get damaged from things like diabetes or high blood pressure, protein can leak through into the urine. This finding is something I learned about in medical school, but I think I've only ever had one patient that came in specifically complaining about frothy urine. And it turned out it was because of lupus. So take that, Dr. House. It's not lupus. It's not lupus. It's not lupus. But there's more to pee than color. Quantity also matters. In fact, if you're peeing too much, it can be a sign of a serious illness, most commonly diabetes. Basically, people with diabetes have high blood sugar, and the sugar circulating in their blood can spill out into their urine, pulling extra water out of the body through osmosis. Ancient healers knew this as well, and they used to test for sugar in the urine by tasting it. Luckily, technology has advanced a lot since then, so whoever invented the dipstick, I cannot thank you enough. Another obvious cause of peeing too much is drinking way too much water. You may be surprised to know that this can have life-threatening consequences. There's a tragic case of a woman who actually drank so much water that she died. I made a whole video about it. So if you wanna learn more, I'll leave a link in the comment section. On the other hand, not peeing enough is also a huge problem and one that people don't always take seriously enough. I once had a patient who had severe diarrhea and became profoundly dehydrated, but she didn't come to the hospital until her kidneys had almost completely shut down. I was shocked to hear that she hadn't peed for the past two days. Remember, proper hydration is critical to your health, especially for your kidneys and your brain. I often hear people quoting rules like, drink eight glasses of water per day. But the truth is, we all have different water needs and it can vary from day to day. So I think it's far more valuable to take cues from your body. Simple things like, are you thirsty? Is it hot and dry outside? How much physical activity have you done today? And most importantly, what does your pee look like? You should aim for a very light yellow color. Too dark means you need to hydrate, and crystal clear means you're probably overdoing it. I've actually admitted a patient to hospital who was convinced that it was healthiest to keep her urine completely crystal clear all the time. She was constantly drinking water to achieve this, and as a result, her sodium levels plummeted, and she was brought to the emergency department after having a seizure at home. Okay, now let's finish off with something rare, but fascinating urine that changes color. This patient was seen in a rural area without access to advanced testing. So the doctor came up with an ingenious solution to confirm her suspicions. She took a urine sample and left it out in the sun for three days. As she expected, the urine changed from a normal color to this port wine color. And this helped her diagnose the patient with a genetic disease called porphyria. Some people call it the vampire disease because people with porphyria are very sensitive to UV light. The changes in the urine are fascinating because the same chemicals that changed color in the urine 
are present in the skin. And when they transform with UV exposure, they cause serious skin damage. Here's another cool example of color changing urine. This 69 year old woman's urine changed from looking totally normal to pitch black after being left out for just two hours. This is a really important clue. This woman has a genetic condition called alcaptonuria. Basically, it blocks the breakdown of a chemical called homogentisic acid, which builds up in the blood and the urine. When her urine was left out, it was exposed to oxygen from the air, and that transformed this acid into a dark colored pigment. And other tissues can take on this dark pigment too. From dark spots in the eyes, to black cartilage, which can be seen during a joint replacement. So the moral of the story is take a look in the toilet before you flush. Your body might be trying to tell you something important. This video is part of a whole series examining what your body says about your health. So if you love learning about health and medicine, then be sure to subscribe. And that way I'll see you in the next video. So bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.